so I received a C swap box from a ton of different YouTube channels. And before I <laughs> before I realized that I was supposed to record myself opening and unboxing this bad boy, um, and believe me, it had a lot of seeds in it. Still has. Um, so I already had taken everything out, and then at the bottom there was this um, kind of like a notebook, or whatever, where you you know put your name and your info and all that. And I saw it last, so I didn't record myself unboxing it. And I like to keep it real, so I'm not going to you know like try to recreate myself unboxing it. So we're just going to go with me. Um, showing what I'm putting back in and what I took out, if that's okay. Now, since everything is already out of order, um, except for, you know, how certain things were laid inside, like, their own bags from the individual channels, and I don't have any of this in any kind of order because, you know, um, I got this uh, comment from Wendy Hartnack, who has the, uh, the box last, and she had mentioned, hey, I can't wait to see your recording of this, and I'm like, oh. So, anyway, before I send the box on to the next person who, and in all honesty, I have not even talked to anybody about it, so I'm going to send somebody that I have in mind right now a quick message and make sure that person is okay to be the next swappy. And I'm going to get started here. So I see two things right off the bat from Craze Family Homestead that I did pick out. And one is rattlesnake beans and the other is broadleaf mustard, which I've got some mustard seed that is um, coming out now. It's not brown and it's not ready to harvest yet. But I planted all that mustard um, greens that you could see in the, um, in the palette. And they're all going to seed, so I'm going to have a lot of mustard seed. And honestly, I want to try to make some mustard with some of that, just to see if I can do it. So it's good to have um, that extra stuff. Um, let's see. There's one uh, container um, iceberg lettuce from Craig's Family Homestead. Some of this stuff, like the broadleaf and brassicas, I plan on doing closer to fall and winter, so I can have like greens and stuff throughout the year. Um, let's see, Mimsy's Garden, Triple L, or Triple Crop Tomato, uh, Morris Patch of Heaven, um, Pie Pumpkins, I have some Pie Pumpkins, but, um, I, you know, saw the seeds and I was like, let me see if, you know, I can get some of theirs, because I got, um, you know, some Pie Pumpkin from, uh, I think one of my older seed bags. Um, Shogoin turnip greens, which I'm also going to do closer to the fall. Jasper tolerant. This is big rainbow tomatoes, and that's also Craig's family homestead. Uh, Black Beauty eggplant, which I have a few of them. Um, this is Pathways Homestead. Another from Pathways Homestead is Lupa Gourds. Uh, Mimsy's Garden homestead tomato. Um, Brian Bluff Hills um, Homestead, and that is big jack o' lantern pumpkins, which I probably need to plant now. But I don't have um, the mouths set up. I actually want to do those in buckets, like containers, because I'm not having uh, the soil tested. But I think um, in some areas in the the garden, the soil is a bit more compacted than others. So I even need to dig out uh, some holes for them and make a mound with um, more fine dirt, or I need to do containers. Um, these are Anastasi beans by Cray's Family. Yeah, I know I, I actually traded a bunch from them. Jubilee tomato, dwarf blue curly baked kale, which I have some um, from last season this past winter. I managed to get some uh, from my uh, kale, but I don't know. Will it grow? Big Max Pumpkin uh, Scallop Yellow Bush Summer Squash, which he'd given me some um, in this other seed packet that he had given me previously. 
So this was from the swap. And when I chose things from the swap, I made sure, you know, that I put, you know, at least the same amount. Because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, let's see, where are we at? Davis Family Farm, True Gold Corn, um, Brian Plus Hills uh, Homestead. I also got um, some Alaska Variegated Nasturtium, which I don't have that, that kind of nasturtium. From Cargill, or sorry, Cargill Red Corn from Pathways Homestead. I got some yellow marigolds from Brian Plus Hills. Um, Papa Pepper had some edible snake gourd, which I don't know what the difference is between the um, the python beans that I have because some people eat them like a squash, and they look almost identical to the the python beans, except the pythons are a little bit bigger. And Hardneck Farms had some persimmon seeds. And if you guys, well, I don't know if you remember, when I first started, we had some persimmon trees, but the deer were always eating them. So we never even got any persimmons off the trees. The deer would always get them as soon as they were ripe. So I got some of those. And there's a special one that I wanted to try because I saw it on... Um, Deborah Doodles and Digs, I believe her, her channel now is just Doodles and Digs, but um, Robertson's Belly Acres has some elephant trunk aramis, and I've always wanted to grow this type of grain, so I'm going to try it. Alright, on to the ones that I'm adding. Okay, so even though this is open, this is Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans, and on each one of um, these uh, things that I added to the pack, I put my card with, you know, my info on it. So whoever, you know, chooses a packet or whatever, um, they, they get my info. Anyway, um, there, there's about a pound of Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans, and they grow really quickly. They germinate, I mean, super fast. I've got some that are out in a bucket now around um, one of the teepees, and I planted them just two days ago. No kidding, two days ago, and there's already um, sprouts coming out of the dirt. And then here is the other pack that I'm putting in, and I'm enclosing. I'm going to pull it all out and then put it all back in the pack. That seems easier me and everything is labeled or it's in its own you know like seed pack these are urban farmer dimpled uh, brown crowder cow peas um, some people call them um, just crowder peas this is an empty bag I actually have some empty bags in case people um, even though there are some bags similar to this that are already in the box, you know, that people can just, you know, take whatever. I added some extras to my own bag just in case people, um, wanted to take, you know, a little bit, share, whatever. Um, these are, uh, they're called Grandpa Ott Morning Glories, and they're an older variety. Um, they say they're from Bavaria. But anyway, I grew some of these. Um, if you saw them in the little hoop thing, the hoop trellis thing with the laundry basket that Ed made, I grew some of these along with some fuchsias. Um, these have actually popped out again this year because, you know, they kind of self-seed. Shepherd's Purse seeds, if you remember me talking about uh, Shepherd's Purse. Georgia Crayle Collards, if you remember those, um, they grew really big uh, this past winter, really big. Green Giant Tomato from Baker Creek. 
fava beans. This is um, a 50 cent pack of yellow pear tomato. I just put the whole pack in there. This is Burpee Organic Sweetie Tomatoes. The Sweetie Tomatoes lasted all the way, I want to say it was a little past like November 3rd or 4th and we started, I think we got the third frost and then they started dying. They lasted a long time past their normal season. These are um, sugar snap peas. Um, they call them sugar daddies. The Carnival Blend um, Burpee Peppers. Another 50 cent yellow pear tomato. I got this back uh, free with uh, something from Baker Creek, but it's um, early purple kohlrabi. Jasper. This is um, Merve, uh, Merve de Quatre Saison lettuce, and it's basically um, Four Seasons lettuce, and it'll grow in the heat too, and it's frost hardy. But I got that free also from Baker Creek. Um, the gray zucchini squash. Um, it's heat resistant, it's prolific, and a lot of it is growing in my A-frame. Mammoth deal. Um, this deal gets about um, four feet tall. You can see I've got some bush deal in the pallets, and then I've got a thing of mammoth deal. And you can definitely tell the difference between the two because the mammoth deal is really tall. This is um, a huge, huge number of white Spanish onion. It's from uh, this year. Most of the stuff is from this year. These are um, the Scarlet Nancy's carrots, and a lot of people, a lot of people um, harvest them as baby carrots. The uh, Purple Hole Calties from Baker Creek, Birdhouse Gourd. This is a pack of cilantro. These Dad's Sunset Tomatoes, they make like really good tomato sandwich tomatoes. Um, there's quite a few seeds in here. And then this is a Brandywine Yellow, which is um, different, a little bit different in taste than the Dad's Sunset. The Brandywine Yellows taste I mean, I don't know, they taste like, have you had a plum that, that was almost ripe? And that is kind of how the brandy wines taste. And these are the rainbow carrots. This is actually um, the kind of carrot that I, I've grown in the little bucket out there that I've been pulling out. Now this is a squash hybrid and it's called the Zucchini Elite and I have um, not planted mine yet but I have another bag that I'm going to be growing later. The Dark Cucumber. Rio Grande Tomatoes. Um, they're kind of great tomatoes and they're just kind of an average, you know, little 50 cent variety. If you remember the Batik Samara Melon, um, they were good for what they were, but to me they weren't all that because you have to have add sugar or something to really pull the sweetness out. But animals seemed to like them. The goats we gave them to liked them. Um, cayenne, if you remember my cayenne lasted until about October and it came from the same little 25 cent packs like those. And this is the Copenhagen Market uh, cabbage. This is from um, In My Gardener, and it's the cabbage that 
So that was an empty bag. So those are the things that I've added uh, to the box, and I'm going to choose a person. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a channel if you choose somebody. It can be some, a viewer as long as, you know, it's passed on and then moved on to the next um, channel. 